Hey, what up, people? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? It's your boy D House in the building. Uh, back again for another chance at this, another shot of these YouTube videos. And I'm learning it every day, man. It's, uh, oh, subscribe and like this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can get alerted time I do a video. Every day, this is, this is something new. You learn. Um, watching videos of, of what people tell you about content. And it's true. You got to be able to have content. You got to be able to be ready with the content for what you're going to say, how you're going to present it. And having the volume right, lighting, different ways. Having a camera where you can see your face. You know, being able to have them right angles and, you know, tags and thumbnails and all that stuff factor in and um, the amount of videos oh. excuse me it's almost 11 30 at night here in california but uh having the videos done the right way doing videos the right way uh with the content um it matters because it's called clickbait um i mean I don't know. I mean, I'm not all technical like that, but they say all this stuff works. And yes, it works for a lot of people and it works for some people. It doesn't work for it. it it's doing it don't work. Um, I mean, I got almost 1,100 videos. Well, I had a good run and getting views. For a minute, I was getting views and, and watch hours, and my subscribers were coming. I'm at 753 subscribers right now. Um, now, I was stuck on 200 subscribers for a long time, but for me to have 753, that's good. I was stuck on a certain amount of watch hours for a long time, and now I have over 1,300. Um, I'm still at not nowhere near what I need, but I'm not complaining either. So everything is a, it's a learning curve. It's a learning curve, learning experience on how to do all this stuff. And uh, it's one step at a time, baby steps. You gotta, you gotta learn how to crawl before you can walk. You know, and uh, you know, be patient, be patient, be patient, and you know, stay with it. You know, uh, people quit, you know, and you just never know their channel probably could be, be exploded. It could be right around the corner on their channel blowing up, you know, uh, and the process of them quitting. Um, but, you know, uh, it is what it is. I mean, some people can make it, some people won't. And right now, I think because of this COVID-19, this is a good time to be a creator. Because you can have time to think about what you, what you, what kind of content you want to do, want to promote, want to have out there, want to put out there on videos, put on, want to put out there on YouTube. Um, I, I think if I got out on a weekend and walked around and did YouTube videos that way, vlogging, stuff like that, it would probably be a lot better because I'd probably do better outside as far as making my videos. Um, so, um, but it's, it's a process. It's a process, man. I mean, uh, it just takes a lot of time and patience and being ready and promoting a YouTube video. Yeah, I mean, having stuff already ready to go. So. Um, having the music right in your background. Uh, what type of music? Uh, what type of thumbnails do you want? What type of channel art? Uh, something catchy for people to catch your eye, uh, their eye as far as your video. Um, uh, if you're watching TV, you know, making sure that you let people know, hey, I don't own the rights to this stuff. Um, the volume on your TV, you don't want your TV to be louder than you. Um, you know, if, if your TV's on, you're watching whatever. Um, 
but this YouTube thing is is a powerful tool um, as long as you use it right. Um, and you make sure that And you make sure you're not being disrespectful to other people when you're making content. Um, like I noticed, I was watching a video with uh, Casey Nonstan. He was talking about Logan, Logan Paul. And I guess whatever situation Logan Paul went through was a real big thing. And uh, Casey Nonstan ended up interviewing the guy. I guess Logan Paul called him to let him know they were working on a documentary about himself. And Casey was like, hey, let me interview you and we can coordinate all that together and you know you be on my channel I'll be on yours you know blah 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 and Casey Nonset was confused about conflicted about even releasing it, the interview then and uh, because of the situation that Logan Paul was in, in, in tangled with um, not to spark controversy but when you have YouTubers that get out there and do things that may break the law, may hurt, may jeopardize other YouTubers. Yeah, so you have to be careful when you're doing certain things because you can jeopardize a lot of, the, lot of people's situation other than yours. You know, and I'm not saying, you know, sp speaking anything negative against Logan Paul or Casey Nasser or anybody, but when you are doing these videos, you got to be careful not to put yourself in a bad light or have other people put you in a bad light. You know, because um, a lot of people have things at stake when it comes to taking care of their family when they do these YouTube videos. And if you're a creator, um, you're employing so many people, especially if this your YouTube thing is paying for your business or help you create your business. So you employ so many people and then you go out there and do something wrong. Now those people in jeopardy losing their job because now you're you know you're you're bad. Now uh people are gonna always probably like Casey announced that uh Tanner Fox, Logan Paul and his brother, uh Pete, uh PewDiePie, uh uh Mr. Beast, you know those guys. I mean, they're 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 beasts at what they're doing. No pun intended, Mr. Beast, but they're they're really hanging and banging on this YouTube thing, <coughs> especially PewDiePie with 107, 107 million, 107 million subscribers. Oh my God, that's a lot. And uh, you know, for these guys to have millions and millions and millions of views, and uh, they're not putting out that much content. I mean, I can just only imagine uh, how the internet rolls over there. And uh, I commend the people uh, that's putting out content that's good. And uh, so I applaud you all. All you great creators keep up the good work. Uh, and Marcus Brownlee, uh, that dude is, is, is doing good too. Um, at what he's doing. You know, uh, in the tech world, um, these guys are just, you know, then when I see other people, like I just went to some other YouTube channels with these girls doing makeup tutorials and stuff, and uh, they're, they're quiet behind the scenes doing what they got to do, <coughs> you know, and I uh, commend you all for taking a chance and get out here doing that, um, but uh, yeah, having the content is, is the main part of all of this content, content, content. You know, once you got content, then, you know, then once you forgot your content and have it mapped out like you wanted to, then then, it, then everything else will fall in place. You know, and be consistent about having the right kind of content that's pretty much along the same lines. Um, and, and try not to be the same as somebody, but be different, you know. Um, that's what you want to stick to. Um, because then, you know, you get a chance, you know, it hurts you in the long run. You know, it hurts you in the long run. So you, you want to be consistent when it comes to this thing. 
and uh, give over the process to the people that are doing it uh, better than you. Uh, I'm hoping to take off real soon, uh, you know. So, I guess I'll shave in the morning. It grows back fast. But, uh, this YouTube thing is, a, like I said, it's a powerful tool. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it, leave any comments when it help me out on this. Thank you.